Hey YouTube. All right, so I came across this unit. I uh, found it and I thought it might be a good media PC. I actually picked it up at a thrift store and I was looking at it when once I plugged it in, it only has about eight gigs of flash. So I was looking and how to actually upgrade the hard drive in this thing. So the easiest thing I would suggest is to get you an SSD as a backup as well. A uh, larger SSD, of course, to hold a full operating system, 64 gigs or so. Um, well, today I picked up one. So what you're going to need is, of course, the unit. This is a Dell Wise and it's a 5010. It's one of the ultra thin clients and it is the the model DX0D okay and I also picked up this cable from a male to female SATA cable and of course you're going to need a hard drive now like I said you I would suggest getting a SSD hard drive but I'll probably do that later. I was using, I was considering using this as a media PC or so. Well, it has, uh, let's see, let's get started. So it's got three screws in the back. So you'll take them off right here. And the third one. Now this cover should slide off like so. And put that aside and then now underneath of course you're going to see one two three four screws this one's missing one so I'll just take one two three out and let's see now this does have the eight gig like I said the small Leave it spacer. Okay, now it's going to, once you get the screws off, it should slide off the top. Now you have to unplug this right here. It's a little speaker. It goes right here in the inside. And just pull up on it and put that aside too. Okay, now in the inside, as I was saying, this has a 8 gig A pacer is the name of it a pacer and it's a uh, smaller 8 gig milc sata module so it's a very small module so you have to remove one screw right here and then once you remove the one screw should be able to just slide the sata out like so and then you got that and what I suggest was when you actually put in the cable, get yourself a zip tie or so, so you can actually, now if you need to, if you need to, of course, upgrade the RAM, it's right here. It's got two gigs right now. Uh, you'll need to remove this small board, which has the USBs and the power button attached to it, of course. But today we're just going to upgrade the hard drive in it. Now essentially you're going to take the male and plug it into the female and it's going to click in like so and then from there we're going to take the other end and plug it into your hard drive. Okay. Now the easiest thing I found was tucking away the cables down here on the side and then you can put the hard drive into these grooves right here. Now if, this, now if the machine is actually going to sit flat like this will, it's okay. But if you're going to tip it sideways, I would suggest finding another way to brace this hard drive or using an SATA hard drive because you know the moving parts in this one. So, like I said, if you if you really would like to is put a zip tie here to hold in the cables from, from hitting the uh, speaker input. 
but I am going to just go ahead and do this for now because I do plan on putting an SATA in there in here later. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in. But that's essentially how you would upgrade to a hard drive on these Dell Wise units. But we'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put the power cord and go ahead and test it. Make sure. I actually took a. Um, a hard drive from another unit and I flashed it to have Windows 10 so we're gonna go ahead and try this make sure okay then we got that plugged in and then we're gonna go ahead and plug plug in the power Okay, now the unit's powered on. Okay. Okay, so now I plugged in the unit uh, with a DVI to HDMI cable. And now you come over here and now all just by upgrading the hard drive, I was able to put the Windows 10 on the hard drive for the unit. And then you'll be able to come over and see the settings. settings. And then you should be able to. Okay. Now I have noticed that the the unit does run kind of slow. But as you can see, it has the AMD 1.4 gigahertz processor, two gigs of RAM. So I would suggest probably upgrading that of course to four or more. But as you can see, it's got instead of the embedded software that normally came with it it's now running windows 10 pro all right so that is how you upgrade the wise hard drive all right take care